What's up, everybody? It's your boy Classic Music here with another music review. Today, it is His Glory Alone Part 2 from KB. Now, KB, honestly, is one of my favorite, like, CHH people to listen to, Christian hip-hop, if you don't, you know, know the uh, acronym. But uh, he's one of my favorite people to listen to. Um, he used to be signed with Reach. I don't think he's a part of them anymore. And this is his, I think this is, like, his sixth or seventh project. Um, so let's get into it. So that we start this off with Intro to Glory to God. Those have like a New York drill beat on it. Like he has like four or five songs that have that New York drill type of vibe to it. Um, Miracles, that's something that you might, that's more in the lane of like what people may think of when they hear CHH, you know, uh, a more lighter sound, you know what? Uh, I guess a happier or brighter sound to it. Glory to Glory, I feel like it's a song that whether you're Christian or not, you will probably rock with, especially if you love the um the New York drill type of beat, uh Danza. That has more of like an Afro beats feel to it. This is a solid track as well. You, uh Your Way has more worship vibes to it so this is definitely more of a worship song talk to me nice is another new york drill beat that he has on here um and all throughout it you know it, it's kb being kb kb's going to give you like different flows um he's going to make sure that uh he's going to make sure that he gives you a message in there talks about Christ and God and things going on in this world. And you, you're going to get the same thing through here. Um, then we go down. He got We got Graves, Graves Reprise. But starting with Graves, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of those tracks he released before. Because there's like, I want to say like four songs on here that like three or four songs that he released previously. I think even maybe like five that he released previously on like an EP I think either earlier this year or late last year, I will have to check. So there's like five songs on here that are already old that, you know, if you're a KB fan that you already listened to and probably played out. Um, Daddy is another more worship one. Um, and King Jesus, that was that was a dope one. I mean, that's one he had before. Easy was one he had before. I'm really feeling a way. Imagine that is cool. And, you know, how we close it out with Remember Me slash Baby Mama is cool, too. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. Like, the first time I heard this album, I did not care for it. Like, I legit didn't. Uh, and and that hurts for me because I am a KB fan. Like, every time KB drops something, it's like I listen to it and I'm rocking with it for, like, months after the fact. And And there's always, like, there's always, like, at least maybe like four to six songs that I take from that album that I just rock with for months on months on end. I'm gonna be real, there's not there's not one on here that I can really see me rocking with for like months. But I'm not gonna lie. On the second listen, I did enjoy it a lot more. It's still it's still probably going to be on like bottom half of KB albums that I rock with, but I did enjoy it more on the second listen. But yeah, even though like like I said, I I still don't think that, that I'm going to take like a lot from this album. I just noticed the album cover is a ripped up portion of his older album covers. That's crazy. I did not. I was wondering what that was. I literally just noticed that. My bad. Sidetrack. Squirrel moment. But <laughs> but I honestly think like if you've never heard KB or if you never really like listen to CHH, um, but you know you're curious about it, I think you would put this on and rock with it. I think it got dope production. Uh, dope vibes. Um, you know, lyrics are there. Every once in a while, he'll he'll drop a corny punchline. Well, corny to me anyway. But it's not. I think there's only one or two. I was just like, nah. <laughs> but other than that, like, I really do think this is something that other people will enjoy. Um, especially if you're not familiar with KB. Um, and if you are like a fan of like, like I said, the drill, the the energy and like that that newer sound, I think you'll you'll rock with it. Um, 
Like I said, for me, it's probably still in the lower half of his albums. I wouldn't say, I don't think this is a bad album. Like I said, first listen, I did. Second listen, I'm like, okay, th this is a good album. But like I said, to me, this is just that. It's a good album. I probably can put it on maybe like background noise or something and like kind of rock out and, and do what I need to do, whether it's like cleaning or something. Um, and, but I do think this is something that I can't see other people really enjoying this. I, like I said, for me, I just I put on KB's like lower end of the catalog. So uh, that's just me personally, though. Um, but you have a chance. You know, like I said, maybe you riding around, you want to try something new, want to listen to something new. Hey, put it in because I don't know. You may actually end up loving this album because I can see people who would listen to this and absolutely love it. Like I said, it just I'm not one of those people. But uh, check it out. Show them some love. Peace, everybody.